been sitting on this menu screen for an awfully long while. Um, listening to the very soothing music. Um, <laughs> so first of all, I want to say thank you so much to Leaky, um, who did this awesome splash screen for me. Um, it is epic, and I kind of wish that, obviously, that I was in the game. I'm not. Barry, hello Barry, uh, is um, as caller two in one of the episodes, so that's really cool. Hi Leaky. Um, so yeah, sorry, I'm, I'm like just like super, 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 super excited about this. Um, I have been waiting all day to stream this game. Um, so yeah, okay, first of all, um, thank you so much. I'm looking at the camera and the camera's not even on yet. Um, thank you so much to Dear Vecchi Studios uh, for a promo code um, that let me stream this game on Steam. Um, I know I don't usually do Steam games, um, aside from Zero Escape, um, so I've hopefully the setup still works. Um, I have done some tests and we have audio, so that should be good. Um, even though I have received a promotional code uh, for this game, which is out today! So if you haven't got it, just get it, because it's on sale and it's awesome, and you know, you can get a bundle um, with, I think, Shapeshifting Detective, Dr. Decker, either which. All three games are amazing. This um, prequel to Shapeshifting Detective um, completes the trilogy, though hopefully they will do more. Uh, thanks for that host, Dopey. Um, but as I said, even though I got a code, uh, all opinions are my own and you'll be able to see my reactions to the episodes as we go through them. Um, as far as I understand, there are six episodes. Um, this is classified as season one, so I'm super excited. Um, okay, let's switch over so we've got the music. Let me know if you've got audio. Uh, yes, thank you, Leaky, for the, stream, uh, the, the Steam link. Um, so yes. So hello everyone, I'm super hyped. Uh, so we've got six episodes in um, season one, which I hope that means there's going to be a season two. Uh, so far I've just been mesmerized by this menu screen and the music, which is kind of chill. Um, I have avoided all spoilers except for the trailers and uh, teaser images. Um, so I'm going into this in the hope that I can stream something yeah, slightly different to what everyone's been streaming so far, make some different choices um, and we'll see how it goes. Um, but yes, thank you to everyone who, or hello to everyone who's here. Um, oh, right, okay, so on that very suave picture of, of Poe, um, we are going to hit new game, we're going to move the phone away from the stream deck so it doesn't vibrate on it. Uh, this has controller support so yay. Um, gonna have to tell me if the volume level's good because um, I haven't done a Steam game in a while. Oh yes it's coming to console Q3 so yeah. But yes it's part of my row. Volume is good. Awesome. I like that. This music is just perfect. And oh, we're back to the really cool sort of abstract art. I really want just like wallpapers of all these amazing images. Um, so, yeah, so it's coming to console later this year, which is Dark awesome. Nights. With Pearl and Monroe. <laughs> Dark Nights with Poe and Monroe. I'm so excited. So the first episode is called Frankie. I really want to move the cursor, like, out of the way. Okay, hopefully that's still going You're going. listening to Radio August. Dark Nights with Poe. And Monroe. Oh, frisson. <laughs> Ooh, hello. Thunder. Fun fact. Helicopters can cause lightning strikes. Hmm. I suppose we should send ours back then. We have a helicopter? <laughs> yes, Munro, we have a helicopter. <laughs> and on that note, what's next, Munro? It's on the schedule, silly. I know that. 
I'm just making it sound like you have a choice. <laughs> okay, then. What shall I choose? Let me see. Uh, oh, well, I want to see what's in a handbag. I choose an early night. You'll be fine without me, won't you? Y you're leaving me, Monroe? <laughs> Good night, Poe. Good night, August. Sweet dreams. She's just awesome. Monroe? I love I'm her. just kidding, Poe. As if I would ever leave our listeners at your mercy. The lady almost vanished, August. Perhaps I'll have to keep her on a shorter leash. <laughs> sit, girl, sit. Good girl. I bite. Okay. I like it. And now it's time for dreams and nightmares. Dream. Apologies, Clemens, but and I really want to punch Crack Pie right now. Excellent Monroe. choice, Monroe. I didn't have one, really, did I? You always have a choice, Monroe. Do you think anyone's listening? Of course. We're the only radio station in August. And if you're just passing through, we mean August the town, not the month. <laughs> what else are people listening to? Radio 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Each other? Hot but FM! We have something they don't. <laughs> What's that? You. Shush, Poe, you'll get tongues wagging. Indeed. Ooh, thanks for Talking the of hosts. tongues that wag, we have a caller. Are you ready for a dream? <sighs> My whole life. Frankie. You're live with Monroe. Hi, Frankie. What a beautiful voice you have. Well, thank you. I think all voices are beautiful. What do you think to Poe's voice? I hate it. Okay. So, what's your dream, listener? I'm in August, and wherever I go, all I can hear is the radio. It's everywhere. It's loud <laughs> and relentless, but there's this... bird. She cuts through the noise and guides me. I listen to the bird, and I fall blissfully asleep. That's very interesting. People dream about their surroundings a lot. And a dream within a dream? A bird. That's nothing to worry about either. What do you think, Hi, Poe? Hi, CPU. I think you have a hardcore fan, Monroe. What did the bird look like, Frankie? Beautiful. So Frankie is just Angelic. in McElroy. But it's trapped in a cage, a prison. But there's only one warden, and the warden is weak. There's a warden? Another bird, with a rumbling voice that makes me angry. This is so much It plumes its feathers, but my bird, the one that calls me, she's not interested in him. And she's caged. Munro, this is obviously a prank. He's talking about us and trying to be funny. But it's a dream. I never said it was a dream. Well, I think um, we've had quite enough of this. Listen to the warden jangling his keys. Don't you see he's imprisoned you, Ellis? Well, um, Frankie, we don't use our first names on air, so I'm just going to stop you there. I've cut the call. Is that a good idea? Well, what was I supposed to do? Help him. He needed help. Don't encourage him, Ellis. These kinds of things must be nipped in the bud. Are we still live? Sorry, listeners. This was a very strange call. I hope you'll agree. Frankie, if you're still listening, I do apologize for Poe. He can get very protective. I kind of get your analogy now. Do I, Munro? Very well, then. Standing down. Oh, listeners, we've upset him now. Poe's got all frowny face. Dittums. <laughs> Sorry, Poe. What's that? This. Oh, it's nothing. What is it? It's nothing. Give it to me. What's the how long is the break for? Give it to me. All in good time, so how long? Three minutes. Okay, I'm going to make some tea for us. You stay here. I want the piece of paper. You're making tea for me. I do it all the time. What's going on? 
Give me the note, or I'm leaving. Of course, we must have continued drama, mustn't we, Alice? What's that supposed to mean? He does need a twisty moustache. He really does need a twisty moustache. I'll have to do that for the next game. I'm Ow. going to kill you. What the hell, Paul? Why were you hiding this from me? It's just some psychotic listener, that's all. It was pushed Frankie. on the door! Not necessarily. We have lots of psychotic listeners. How can you joke about this as a death threat? It's clearly a death threat. I knew it would upset you, but I'm an old hand at this, Alice. People see you as a celebrity. It makes them do abnormal things, but they're just normal people. When did you find it? Someone slipped it under Three the door. Just now? Well, yes, but it's nothing to worry about. We've been getting them for the last few weeks. Weeks? Maybe a month. So that could be a killer behind the door. Maybe, but never when I've looked. Oh. It isn't locked, Alice. People can just walk in anyway. I don't want to click on it. Do you want any locks? I don't think it's necessary. Oh. Do you ever get the feeling the radio station is... is cursed? No more than the rest of August. <laughs> Maybe we should call it a night. And abandon our listeners? Munro, this isn't like you. I just have a really bad feeling about this. I think something terrible is going to happen. Shh, Alice. I can feel your heart racing from here. Everything <laughs> will be fine. I don't think so. Come on, we're alive. I think he's a harmless creep rather than a... Dangerous creep, Alpo. Um, like a teddy bear. I think I'm gonna go home. Don't be like that. How could you keep this from me? I thought you cared about me. What if I'd been yeah. killed? <laughs> a teddy bear. You know, I'd never let anyone hurt a single hair on your head. Well, and that's not that entirely true, is it? I don't know what you mean. You know exactly what I mean. Let's not get into that now. We're back with our listeners in three, two... You'd have been a sacrificial shish kebab if it wasn't for me. <laughs> oh, Bo, that sounds like a great story, but it'll have to wait. Because we're back with our listeners and more dreams and nightmares. Okay, who's our next listener? It's Frankie again. Put him through. Yeah, Munro is awesome. Frankie, you're live with Munro. I didn't finish what I had to say. I'm sorry about that. You can carry on now. Sometimes the radio gets too much. It makes me... frustrated. Uh -oh. So I go into the belly of the beast, and I hide, and I listen... And I wait. So this is a dream that breaks into other dreams. Of course, there are no segues for dreams. Poe? The belly of the beast. Have you been leaving messages, Frankie? Yes, John. Yes, I have. Have you been getting them? What did the messages say? I'm going to kill you. Uh-oh. Oh, I'm going. I love her back. I see. And why would you dream about wanting to kill me, Frankie? Hello? Police? Help. Someone's threatening to kill Poe right now on Radio August. It's not a dream, John. I'm coming for you. And Alice. The police can hear you, Frankie. You're live on air. They will find you. Better hope they're not too late. Ah! No, don't. I'm not hiding, Munro. You fool, he just, just said he wants to kill you. Hide. No. If you're not hiding, then neither am I. Frankie? It's Alice. 
I'm opening the door so we can talk, okay? Just you and me. I mean, the window has a... It, the door has a window in it. Frankie? There's no one here. I've had enough of this. What are you doing? I'm getting our caller back on the line. Maybe we should just carry on with the show. Come on, Frankie, pick up. You know you want to. Extinguisher, fire extinguisher, definitely fire extinguisher. Make sure you aim it towards them and pull the. Oh, or you could just hit them with it, but you'd get more effect if you just pulled the toggle thingy. Yeah! Ooh! Okay, who the hell did I just knock out there? You haven't seen that scene before? Very cool! I got a scene you haven't seen before. Oh shit! Guys, no way you. This no. Oh wow. That's a bit intense. I don't think that should have. Oh hello! Is this the guest house? Oh sorry, I didn't mean to make you flinch. We're back on sofas again. Dear Vecchi have an amazing collection of sofas. <laughs> when I was 12, my father died. He was riding his bike to work and he got hit by a bus. A school bus. Oh. My school bus. <laughs> yes, just covered in it dust. It was <laughs> all over very quickly, but I was at the back of the bus and I could see everything. Jesus Christ. He didn't move didn't get up, died instantly. But the image of it somehow stayed with me. You think? It doesn't anymore. I couldn't tell you what it looked like. Mother told me a secret. There's a way that you can make your memories disappear. Can you make today disappear? But you can. Pick one of these. Is this a red pill, blue pill kind of thing? I want an orange. Now hold it tightly in your hands and close your eyes. Now what? Think of your most troubling memory from this evening and imagine the object you're holding is there. Picture it, so you can see it. Okay. You have to make yourself believe that the object is there. It's a video game. We can make the object be okay, there. Okay, it's there. Now open your eyes. Now what? Throw it away. When you throw it away, it will take that memory with it. And if it doesn't? It definitely will. If only that worked. Oh, someone's trimming hedges. Don't know whether everyone can hear that. <laughs> Sounds loud, but I've got to have the window open. It's baking. Finally, tonight, police are appealing oh, for anyone God. who might know the whereabouts of 35 year old veterinarian Francisco Bilson. Mr. Bilson hasn't been seen since the headless body of his business partner, Jennifer Gordon, was found in an industrial bin outside Lux Fitness. Is that the first murder in August, Poe? This year, yes, but technically it's on the Stepford border, 
So whilst August police deal with it, the crime statistic is with Stepford. Oh, that's cold. Yes, indeed. Tonight's weather will be cloudy with scattered showers. Yeah, make sure you cover your head. Now what happens when your very own Poe and Munro decide to play a game of truth or dare? Stay tuned to find out more later. But first, we want to hear from you, August. Got a guilty secret? Need to get something off your chest? Father Poe is waiting in the confession booth to absolve you of all your sins. Anonymously, of course. And here's a message from our sponsor. Do we have a sponsor? How do we let him get away, Poe? He just disappeared. He, he was dead, Ellis. No pulse, no breath. Then who took him? It would seem it was our guardian angel. Just hope he doesn't come back. Oh God, the body disappeared. He, voice again. he won't be coming back. How can you be so sure? And why did you take off before the police got here? You left me to deal with everything. Not everything. Not everything. He got rid of the body? Next time on Dark Nights with Poe oh. and Munro. Right, there They're coming and running out, isn't it? Spoilers. Months ago. How do we pay it back? A radiothon. In bed with Poe and Munro. Lurkers, if you're out there just lurking, then give us a sign. It's Millicent. Once upon a midnight. Oh my god, there's a rabbit. Pondered weak and weary. The station shuts down. I don't know what I'll do. Clearly, doesn't you shut down. Safe now. Because we have the shape shift detected, but this is set before that. Pearl and Monroe. Hey, we get the splash screen. So that was the end of episode one. So, I think the achievement was called Pilot. Aha. Okay. So first impressions. I chose lightning. There was a cat. Huh. God damn it, there was a cat. I didn't see the cat. I saw lightning and the knife, but I didn't see the cat. Damn it. I cut Frankie's call. Yep. Oh, the option was to tread on the note. Of course I was going to pick up the note. Um, called the police. Yep, I'm, I'm happy with that. <laughs> you let Monroe greet Frankie. Well, I didn't do it on purpose. I just thought she shouldn't. She should have the choice. And I went for the fire extinguisher. Oh well, I didn't mean to poke her. It just had a thing. And then I picked the orange, which seems to be a fairly popular choice. I'm miffed I didn't pick the cat. But I realised it was a cat. Would pick the cat. I like cats. Oh well. Okay, we'll do that next time. Dear Becky Studios, episode two. Oh, I love these screens. Months ago. Poe! How are we still here? My rainy day savings. You can't use that. That's for you and your family. No, you're right. You Think of it as a, as a loan. Okay, well, how do we pay it back? We send a seed of hope out to Lady August, and she blossoms it into fruitful returns. Or we could have a fundraiser. Yes, a radiothon. I'm thinking a 24-hour <laughs> sponsored broadcast. We could call it 
in bed with Poe and Monroe. Hmm. You think people will pay us to sleep together in bed for 24 hours? No, silly. You're not allowed to sleep. <laughs> I love her so much. Yes, Poe does have some brilliant dialogue. Very cheesy. Did we really need that camera? Yes, Poe. It's proof that we stayed here for 24 hours. The station shuts down. I don't know what I'll do. Everything will be fine, Alice. I've set up our donation pages and the amounts are already rolling in. How much do we have? Fifteen. Hundred? No, fifteen pounds. <gasps> Nothing's in pounds. Yes. Yes, it's a 1950s camera. Okay. Wow. You weren't kidding. I don't mean to get your hopes up, but um, that was my donation. You donated 15 pounds yourself? <laughs> People do it all the time. It's not cheating. I want us to stick around too. Thanks, Paul. Me too. Hmm. I wonder if the console version of this will be out. Here we go. In time for extra life. Welcome back, listeners. That was The Raven by Edgar Allan Poe. We're now halfway through the show, and it's time to take your calls. Hmm. I can't see any callers. Is it working properly, Poe? It is the witching hour. Maybe everyone's gone to bed. So, we're totally alone. Oh, we could have lurkers. Yay for all the lurkers out there. This episode is a bit trippy. Is this the episode that got Amy kicked off YouTube stream? Um, I did set it to 18 plus, what do you so we should be good. Lurkers. Uh, people that lurk but never join in. They're probably out there right now. You mean listeners, right? Lurkers, if you're out there just lurking, then give us a sign. I should take this since nobody's listening. Is it his wife? Hello, darling. Ah. Yes. Yes. No, I said I wouldn't be home for that. No. Yeah. No, 24 hours. All at once. No, I'm not sleeping. We're broadcasting. Okay, then. Ta-da. For anyone still listening, that was Poe taking a call from his wife. Monroe, as far as the listeners are concerned, I'm single and available. Yeah, you act like it too. What's wrong with you? I'm sorry. What's wrong with Lack you? of sleep. What do you think? Oh, it's for a good cause, remember? Sure. How much have we raised? 15 pounds? Come on, call well, two. thank we you, Lurkers. You. We couldn't get scared without you. Indeed. Hmm, I'm getting a very strong sense of deja vu. What about you, Monroe? If you mean, have I ever been in bed with someone expecting greatness and then been sorely disappointed, then, yeah, <laughs> I'm getting deja vu. It's that positive <laughs> attitude that brings all the donors to the yard. Speaking of, dear <laughs> residents of August, Please keep donating. Whatever you can afford, let us keep making radio for you. There. We've got 15 minutes. What shall we do? Bathroom. Of course. Freshen up. Go back in. Be a queen. You're already a queen. Be a tired, hallucinating queen. I love her hair. Uh, lips.
Monroe, you femme fatale. I'm feeling pretty sleepy, actually. Your lips, so luscious. They're making me think things I should not. Well, lucky that's there, then. Ah, yes. <laughs> the camera. A tiny piece of glass with an imaging sensor that protects us from evil. Are you okay? Comfortable? John, what are you doing? We'll be live in a minute. Look at you. You're perfect in every way. And I can never have you. Okay, Buster, that's enough. You're gonna get my irritable just woken up slightly if you're not careful. You're not going anywhere, Ellis. Now he's being damn right creepy. Stop being creepy. Yeah, I was not going to click his forehead. Ooh. Jesus Christ! Ooh. Glad I put an 18 plus on this one. I'm, if I click on his forehead to shoot <coughs> like near him. Yes! <laughs> near him in the balls! Haha, <laughs> 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 I got an achievement called the kicker. You can't see it because it's behind me. Alright, now I've killed him with my foot. I think it was the kicker. This is new to you too. Haha! <laughs> Good. She's deadly! Oh, you need the kicker trophy. Well, that's what you need to do. You need to kick him in the balls and then kick him in the forehead, apparently. No. No, no. No, this can't be happening. <laughs> oh, God. There. We've got 15 minutes. What the what hell? Shall we do? <gasps> Did you fall asleep? It's oh, only my been God. 12 hours. Twelve hours? Yes. You look like you've seen a ghost. I had a nightmare. Dreams and nightmares with Poe and Monroe. No. He was real. Are you okay? Do you want to stop? I'm fine. Sleep deprivation. It can play tricks with the mind. Ugh. Not after twelve yeah. hours. Come on, amateurs. So... 15 minutes. I need the bathroom. Again. Again? <laughs> That's basically just my life. I need the bathroom. Again. Once upon a midnight dreary, while I pondered weak and weary, over many a quaint and curious volume of forgotten law, while I nodded, oh. nearly napping, suddenly there came a tap. She doesn't love you. Who are you? You know who I am. It's Millicent. Who's Millicent? <laughs> Millie. Uh, yeah, yeah, yes, Millie. Millie. Uh, Millie, what are you doing here? Don't play games with me, Edgar. <laughs> Edgar? I'm not Edgar. Fine, Poe, have it your way. But what did you bring her for? The girl? Alice, she's... You need to leave. Leave? I can't leave. I died here, remember? Waiting for you. Sorry, my love. I've just waited so long for this moment, for this day. Quoth the raven. Bad dreams. Just bad dreams. Bad dreams. bad dreams go away. Bad <sighs> dreams, good dreams, head to stay. Nope. nope. <laughs> oh, bless. Oh, no. Be brave. Be brave. You can be brave. Oh. You don't want to be a door? Oh, it was closed, was it? Oh, God. Ho? 
Oh wow, it's an outside. You also so went through the you door. Think okay, I'm Edgar you Allan know? Poe. She's brave. You are, and I'm Minnie. Remember? I'm really not sure. Well, let me remind you. Uh, no, run away, run away, run away. This is what you wanted. You want to be him. Millicent Brand. You used to own this building when it was a halfway house. Halfway between heaven and hell. <laughs> you died in a bath. Suicide. You slit your wrist. You told me to do it so we could be together. No. It's got nothing to do with Edgar Allan Poe. These stories are getting mixed up. Your halfway house was a front for illegal sex workers. It was an honest exchange for services. This was the 19th century. There was no honest exchange for anything back then. And you think there is now? Edgar, please, <laughs> stay with me. So yeah, so if this comes out on console in time for Extra Life, then this is totally going to be one of my games for Extra Life. Yeah. Oh, I'm glad you're getting different scenes. I'm I'm looking forward to playing it through again and getting different ones. And also the cat sound, because... Ah, uh, cat! Po? Po? Oh. Uh oh, there's a bunny. Oh, is that you? Okay, there's a creepy bunny. Who's the creepy bunny? Okay, that's not oh. pretty creepy. That's kind of cute. Oh, it is Poe. Oh, thank God. Where are we? What's happening? Is it a dream? Follow the white rabbit. Alice? What are you doing with that? Alice? Alice? Oh, no! There. We've got 15 minutes. Oh my god, it's Watch Groundhog <gasps> Day! Oh yeah, definitely cuter than a pig mask. Leaky. I can't believe you did that. What? Come with me. Where? We've got 15 minutes. Come with me. Alrighty, where are we going, missus? Poe? Are you really Poe? Cause, governor. What's the jig? Uh, uh what the hell? Oh. oh, yeah, or a horse. This can't be happening. Come with me and you'll see a world Ho? of pure imagination. Who is she? That's your question. Millie. Yes, that's a bit strange, Alice. Perhaps should have led with, um... Why are we tired? Why are we tired? <laughs> well, I thought maybe you could ask that. A lover's kiss, Edgar. This new one not up to snuff. What's she talking about? She thinks I'm the real Edgar Allan Poe. Well, you are named after him. I'm not Poe. I'm... Poe. What's the plan? Poe? <laughs> Get out. <laughs> oh. That was easy. What shall we do about him? Leave him. <laughs> He's a killer. Alice? It's okay. Do you hear that sound? What sound? What is it? Why would I untie An evil Poe? thing. Coming for you. I love so you, much Alice. more fun other way. Not dead. Only sleeping. Stay with me, Alice. I can. I'm uh. waking. Uh oh, that's like a carbon monoxide detector. I think I know where they've been having trippy dreams. Hi, Varbo! And also, hello, CPU. You were in here earlier. 
but I didn't say hi. Ha hi! Ah, CPU is Tim! Hi Tim! I'm loving this! This is awesome! Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh, come on, looks like get out of there! Open a window! Uh, okay, no, no, I mean, come on, we've got to wake him. I'm not just going to leave him. I'm not that cruel. <coughs> we but need to seriously, go crack quickly. <coughs> Fine. I don't know. <coughs> Hi, Tony Fox. Yes. Hello, everyone. We are... We are, we are on episode two. Tell them what happened, Poe. It's ghastly, really. Do they need to know? Yes, they do. At the end of episode two. Okay, great. All right, then. Good boy. Monroe and I almost passed away last week from carbon monoxide poisoning. But we didn't. Yay. <laughs> that much should be obvious. Yay. Our central heating system became blocked and started backing up carbon monoxide into the building. But lucky I got that detector, eh, Poe? Yes, indeed. Uh -huh. But not so lucky for the young raven stuck in the flu. What? I was actually a raven. I didn't want to tell you because it's not very nice. But since you asked, the blockage was because a young raven had become stuck in the flu. No. What happened? From what the insurers could make out, it got stuck, and then its mate came in after it. Both of them died together. That's so sad. Everything dies. Well, they are together now. Somewhere in distant Aden. But in our realm, they will be never more. Let's change the subject. How much money do we raise for the station? Actually, the insurance paid out quite a lot of money. It seems the installers had also been negligent like by not including neck. a protective barrier on the flu, so... So the ravens died to save our show? Yes, you could say that. Or a bungled building job almost killed us. So, glass half full, I'd say. Agreed. Perhaps we shouldn't spend so much time in bed together, Poe. <laughs> Do you really mean that? Yeah. It's clearly Perhaps. dangerous. And he's married. Next time on Dark Nights Spoilers. with Poe and Monroe. Yesterday in the August update, you said that Joe Watts had gone missing. He'd gone to a friend's house after school and hadn't come back. So what are you saying? We worked the case ourselves. You be good cop, and I'll be bad cop. Yes, Ooh. I'd like to report you for kidnapping, please. Ashlyn! What are we supposed to do? I don't want it's between the dots. I just see the final picture. Dark Nights. With Poe and Monroe. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I made phones. I made Poe's phone. Hang on. I made Poe's phone ring, apparently. Interesting. Okay. Chose the lipstick. Uh, I kicked Poe in the face. Oh, God. You can get Monroe strangled? Sheet. I chose Touch Melison. I confronted the. Not a. Oh, not a door. Sorry, my eyes are a bit. Mariana, that was Mariana from Dr. Decker. It's also Violet from the Shapeshifting Detective, Valbo. Um, it's play. Uh, she's played by Ashlyn Diaz. Um, so the not a door, not a door. Ah, of course, because it wasn't a door. <laughs> I pulled away from Millicent. I chose to and time on road first. Haha. <laughs> and I woke Poe. Yes, because I'm not mean. Um, you know. Though I am curious what happens if I don't wake Poe. So 
so yeah. Alright, episode three! Oh, more gorgeous screens. Fascinated by them when they were playing the Shakespeare Dark Knights with Pearl and Monroe. Queen with envy. I know that the tarot cards have that. Call on line three. <gasps> Is that a bad thing? I changed the number after Frankie. He's the only one that knows it. Frankie's dead. We imagined all that. So we take the call then. Uh, yeah, I think that was taking the call. That was hard to see. Who is it? Hello? He will die <gasps> if you let him. Frankie? The boy... The order you do things is... important. I I've seen them all. Is this a prank? Frankie's dead. Who is this? Listen, just listen! She will lie to you. She will get away. She will kill the boy. You can't change that. What are we supposed to do? I don't have the lines between the dots. I just see the final picture. Okay. I don't like that, Poe. Me neither. And here's Yvette on line two. I love your show. Thanks, Yvette. I love your accents. What's your question? My question is, do you care about people? That's a strange question. It's an AMA, Monroe. Ask me anything literally means ask me anything. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Post but plane. do we care about people? Yes, of course. Speak for yourself, Monroe. I'm an animal lover myself. So you don't care about people? No, I do care well, about I people, care. just I care about animals more. So you care about animals more than people? Present company excluded, of course. <laughs> so that's a yes and a no. Wait one moment, Yvette. So if I was crossing the road at the same time as a cute bunny, and you could only <gasps> swerve and save one of us, you would I choose the bunny. I a cute bunny. It's purple. I mean, bunny, it's probably. purple. You'd probably save the bunny? <laughs> well, hypothetically speaking, we're saying... A toy bunny had animated itself and was crossing the road. And I could hit <laughs> you or the magical bunny. Oh my god, Poe, it doesn't matter. You'd run me over to save a toy bunny. Well, how fast am I going and what are your odds of surviving? I'd it's be a dead. Bunny. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Well, this is a whole side to Poe I've never seen before. Does that answer your question, Yvette? Yes, it's a very yes, good shape. I think so. I do have another dilemma. Maybe we can help you that. I'd rather not say on air. That's all right. Happy to help. It's about time for a short break anyway. Stay on the line, Yvette. We'll be back in five minutes to answer more of your AMA questions. Until then, here's something slightly more interesting instead. We're off. Yvette? I've got a hostage. <gasps> A hostage? He's a boy from August I. Why is he a hostage, Yvette? I had a crush on him, but he turned out to be unpleasant. So you kidnapped him? No, I drugged his drink. Is he okay, Yvette? Not really. He has not woken up yet. But now that I've spoken to you, I'm... Probably just going to let him die. Don't let him die. I like animals more than people anyway. Like Paul. Yvette. Uh oh. I was joking with Monroe. Thank you. Maybe for we shouldn't your have picked aid. the bunny. <laughs> uh oh. Did you get the number? No, it's withheld. Maybe she was joking. We should call the police just in case. Tell them what was said. 
he just said that the order was important. I'm not sure. Maybe we shouldn't have picked the bunny just because, um... We're... Why aren't you sure? I don't trust August police. Oh. They're the police. Exactly. But it's Chief Dupont! We don't even know who's been kidnapped. Yes, we do. We do? Do you even listen to yourself reading the August update? Not really. I normally drift off. <laughs> you drift off? I imagine myself at the opera. I'm on stage, and there's this beautiful young lady in the front row. But she's dressed like a cat. Okay. Let's circle back to that another day. So, what are you saying? We work the case ourselves. That boy could get hurt. Not if we hurry up. Yesterday in the August update, you said that Joe Watts had gone missing. Ah yes, I remember. He'd gone to a friend's house after school and hadn't come back. What are the odds that Yvette has got Joe hostage? Almost as high as Yvette not being her actual name. I know the headmistress from the high school. Maybe we should talk to her. Or maybe the parents. They asked for the story to be run. Don't you want to go back to school? You clearly had a better childhood than I did. I still have my cheerleading outfit. That's settled then. Let's talk to the headmistress first. What's her name? Dallas Umber. That's a strange name. She's a strange woman. Take a seat, both of you. Whilst it's admirable that you're returning to complete your education, <laughs> you're a little old for this institution. Sorry, you're mistaken. I have a degree in cryptozoology. That's not a real degree. <laughs> it's okay, Paul. She's messing with us. Really? Yes. I'm eccentric. Can't you tell? <laughs> That's adorable. Well, we're here about Joseph Watts. And there was I thinking I was going to be on the radio. Joseph is a pupil here, though, right? He certainly is. Head boy and heartbreaker. Heartbreaker? <sighs> He's a good-looking lad. Generous nature, always helping people. Any idea where he could have gone? Oh, probably at some young lady's house whose parents are away. He went missing yesterday, and we had a caller on Radio August who said they'd kidnapped him. Kidnapped? Oh, sounds a bit far-fetched. <laughs> We're looking for him, so anything you can tell us would be useful. Oh, you'd be better off talking to his form tutor, Miss Clay, but... plow away. Nice whistle. Thank you. Do you have a specific question? What do you use it for? Blowing. It <laughs> makes a noise. I know, but for running or sports. Do you know how hard it is to keep teens with raging hormones in line? Hard? Well, less hard with a whistle. It's like Pavlov's dog. <laughs> Blow it and they know something bad is coming. Do you know any pupils called Yvette? Not recently. <laughs> Why, are you looking for someone called Yvette? It's the name of the kidnap. And by recent you mean? Well, I was at school with an Yvette, but that was many moons ago. Not in August. Different country, actually. Well, we should be off now. Here's my number, if Joe turns up, or if you think of any place he might be. Thank you, Mrs. Umber. It's Miss Umber. Miss Umber. <clears throat> you too, take care. August's not the town it used to be. Can I have the whistle? You just threw away the number! Yeah, what's not on mixer? What's our next move, Munro? Who did she say Joe's teacher was again? Miss Clay. If we can find her address, oh, we should yeah, visit her. I think uh, she's staying at the guest house. <gasps> guest house! Why do you guest think house! That? Guest house! I saw a bill on Miss Amber's desk. That's. I'm worried about what Frankie said. Is this the right move? I don't care. I, I want have to no see idea. <laughs> Let's go and see Miss Clay. And hope she's at the guest house. I like making the decisions. I'm very happy to be woman-led. I know you are, Poe. I'm gonna talk to Miss Gallagher. You find Miss Clay. 
Why oh, don't yeah, I talk sorry. to Miss Gallagher um, and you find Miss Clay? I don't trust you talking to other redheads. How do we know Miss Clay isn't a redhead? Because she'd be I'm talking to Violet. Um yes, sorry when um I was talking to Valbo about a site we use. Um so there's no my links on on Mixer. Violet! Hello. It's Alice. Alice Monroe? From the radio. Yeah, from the radio. And what brings you here, Miss Monroe? One of your guests, actually. Well, I'm happy to chat, but you will need to help me strip. <gasps> oh. Okay. The bed, I'm assuming, but... <laughs> oh, she looks so nervous. Bless. The bed. <laughs> I like your dress. <laughs> it matches my patience. Long and unyielding. If you go around the other side, I find that tends to work best. <laughs> oh, I really want to give her that scene. I'm assuming this is about Miss Clay. She is my only guest. Yes, Thanks the school teacher. Father. One of her pupils has gone missing. Well, but not working being held hostage, actually. Hostage? We had a caller on the radio. Someone calling themselves Yvette said that they'd taken this boy, Joe Watts, hostage. Watts? Oh, yes. The family's been in August for a long time. They manufacture and sell fireworks, of all things. I love fireworks. Ghastly things. All that methyl in our drinking water. Makes my thyroid throb just thinking about it. They're fun though, right? <laughs> if you're an unethical hedonist, I will Google that when I get home. <laughs> Did you ever meet Joe Watts? Never met him. August High is a grammar school though, isn't it? So presumably he's clever enough or rich enough to be there. And the vet? Vet. Yes, I did have an Yvette stay here last year. I think her family were just passing through though. Her mother was an electrical engineer for a big television company. She did fix my reception though. Do you think that's her? Was she Britishy? Oh yes, Britishy. That quintessential accent of the United Kingdom. Sorry, I didn't mean to be rude. It's okay, Miss Monroe, I'm just teasing you. No, she was uh, Russian. Yvette had a French accent. If you think of anything that might help, please give me a call at the radio station. Surely you want me to call the police if I notice anything? I'd rather you called us first, if that's okay. Do the police know what's going on? His dad doesn't want the police to know. Very well then. I shall do as I'm told. Thank you. Mm. I know we're going to find him. Oh, I got a an achievement, which I can't read. The, the, just a little bit too small. You mean Violet? Hello? Yes, I'd like to report a kidnapping, please. Well, I didn't get much out of Miss Clay. She said Joe was a litterbug. So she's an eco-warrior? Yes. I wish we could have recycled <laughs> our meeting, actually. I think was Miss Gallagher? Would like a kind of both. dominant. <laughs> I liked her. Maybe I shouldn't let you hang around with other redheads. Maybe you shouldn't. Well, let's circle back to this later. Did she say anything useful at all about Joe? She said Joe's parents sold fireworks. Oh, is that what she was mm, talking I about? I was a little that bit could distracted. Be useful. Anything else? She said the only Yvette she knew was Russian and an electrical engineer. So I'm guessing that's not our Yvette. Did she say anything about Miss Clay? Not really. 
I probably should have asked more questions. I got distracted. Seems we're out of leads. <laughs> I'm still you up for visiting the headmistress again. We could drill Miss Gallagher some more. Give it up, Alice. I'm trying. The headmistress then? <laughs> Miss Gallagher? Gallagher. You can go on your own if you want to talk to Miss Gallagher again. <laughs> okay, bye. I see. I suppose I should visit Miss Clay then. Ah, neighborhood watch. All right, okay. Thank you, Leaky. That was my achievement. I raised Violet's suspicions. Back again, Miss Monroe. Yes. How did you know? I have ears and a gravel driveway. And I saw your reflection in the window. <laughs> We've hit it dead end with Joe. Oh dear. Want to drive? Sure. sure. <laughs> well, you're quite handy, aren't you? I have my uses. I wonder if we'll get to see Dorota in there. I wish you'd come for a chat earlier. I was laying screed in the garage. Screed? Smith flooring. Wish I'd got the self-leveling stuff now. <laughs> Hiding bodies. <laughs> Don't be silly. If I was going to do that, I'd use my industrial grade meat mincer. <laughs> I probably shouldn't eat here. Oh no, you should. We've always got plenty of fresh meat in the freezer. <laughs> Heard to ring a guest house, I guess. Oh, okay. Um... Have you talked to Wes Marie Bolton? Let me tell Haven't you even though. heard that name. Oh, don't worry about that. Don't you have a dishwasher anyway? I did. He's under the screed. <laughs> Hang on, I lost my window. I can't tell if you're joking or not. <laughs> I'd go see Wes Marie. 17 Hunger Lane. Perhaps Joe was one of the missing she talked about. Let's hope not. I don't know if that's any better. Um, Miss Clay doesn't seem to know about anything, kind of unless it's an eco issue. Maybe you're just not prodding her in the right places. You're welcome to talk to her, too. We don't have time, Poe. The good news is Miss Gallagher gave me a name. Wes Marie Bolton. Excellent. And the address to go with? Hunger Lane. Off Beaconsfield Drive. I know it. Cool. Let's go there, then. I haven't got my level set up for this, for PC streaming as well. People don't normally want to hear what I have to say. We do. We want to hear about Joe Watts. If I tell you what I think, I'll topple my meds. Well, we don't want to get you in trouble. Just tell us what you can. Don't be silly, Paul. We're not going to tell anyone. You can tell us anything. It's okay. You can trust us. We're from the radio. <laughs> it's Miss Clay. She ran this after school club green for life. I was in it. She made us make a list of those with the most environmental impact in our class. I did it. It was me. I made the list. Joe was third on it and the third person to go missing. Ah. You have to help and you need to! It's okay. We're gonna help. You just need to take a breath. She'll have him in the woods. At Howe Park. You have to hurry. She'll kill him if they don't pay. A ransom? His parents. He is being ransomed. If they pay, she'll donate the money to charity. It's sick. It's gone too far. And what if they don't pay? I don't know. I left when I saw it. What did you see, Westmarie? Miss Clay. She was turning him into trees. A dryad? 
A what now? A dryad. <laughs> Someone who's part human, part tree. We need to go. How, Park? Yeah. Where's Marie? Where's Marie? You did good. We're gonna save Joe. You wait here and we'll be back. I mean, compost maybe, but how do you turn someone into a tree? I am curious. You should turn me up. I turned Joe! you down because I was getting loud earlier. Joe! Joe? That is very mean of the small children. Joe! Put my game back. Go! Hopefully I've still got volume on both. Okay. We're in the woods. Is that a better balance? He's alive. Only just. We need to get him out of here. I said Joe! Yay! Miss Clay? No, she's not here. You're safe. A she's a tree. It's okay, Joe. We're going to get you home. You got him killed, Barry. Oh, oh dear. Oh. Monroe, we have a fan. I'm just trying to untie you, Joe. Can, can you stand up for me? Monroe, help, please. Oh. Um. It's you didn't okay. know you could save him. It's okay. I can walk. Oh crap! Oh. I was trying to. Are you hurt? Grab his elbow. No. That didn't work. He's just dizzy. Let's get you home. You didn't know? Ah. Well, you can save Joe, apparently. I'm always going to save Joe. I am Joe. So. Joe's sleeping. The important thing is that he's safe. And I'm 50,000 poor. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm glad he's back. Thank you for getting to him so quickly. You didn't tell us there was a ransom. Well, there was, and I paid it. They said he'd be in the woods. Did Joe say anything about who kidnapped him? He said it was his teacher, Miss Clay. Nothing about Yvette? There was a French girl that was helping her. He didn't see her. I'm just glad he's home. Do you think they'll catch Miss Clay? Only if she wants to be caught. It's not reassuring. Do you think Joe was ever in any real danger? Probably. There's still two missing students. <laughs> I thought environmentalists loved the planet, including all the humans on it. I think most of them do. They're Thank always fanatics, right. Monroe, in everything. I'm going to plant a tree tomorrow, in our yard. Maybe we should look into solar panels. Can we even afford next month's rent? It's not next month yet. <laughs> Bless. We never found out who Yvette was either. Some things will always remain a mystery, Monroe. Clearly my obsession with Violet paid off. Or should I say our obsession with Violet? Oh, Violet. Oh, maman, maman. <gasps> J'ai fait mes devoirs. <gasps> Elle est Yvette? <gasps> she lied. Ton feu. Next time on Dark Nights with Poe and Monroe, We have a special treat for you tonight. Madame Baratsky claims to have helped hundreds of clients discover their previous selves. Mm. Monroe, are you ready to meet your mm. past self? Was I was born already. Dr. Decker? I don't remember. I just not played it for a while. Barry, did, did, was, was, was Leo in, in Dr. Elizabeth. Decker? That's what you were going to ask, isn't it? Dark Nights. With Pearl and Monroe. It's the Dr. Decker episode. We like the Dr. Decker episode. Okay, so let's just leave this up for a moment. Yeah, I mean, it's it's episodic. The six episodes of season one. Um, they're meant to be sort of like 20-ish minute episodes. Um, oh, I said the Dr. Decker one. Apparently it's a long one. Cool. Um, thank you. Sorry, I'm just trying to read your username. Weren't. Um, episode 6 is long as well. Cool. Um, yes. So, yeah. Leah, who plays Monroe. Was she in Dr... I don't remember be her being in Dr. Decker. I know Ashlyn was. 
Um, because that was Mariana. And, you know, we all love Mariana. We were all very sad when she turned out to be the killer. <laughs> no, she wasn't in Dr. Decker. Cool. Yeah. No, I didn't think so. I think she was, she was new for shape-shifting detective, her and... Um, uh, yeah. So, cool. We took Frankie's call. We saved the bunny. <laughs> Clements, thank you. Sorry, I knew you began with a K. I was like, what the heck? Name. I'm so bad with names. My brain is so bad with names. Um, okay, so, yes, we saved the bunny. I feel really bad about saving the bunny, but um, we chose to solve the case alone. Fair enough. Yes, we visited the school first. Chose to see Violet with Monroe. Chose to help Violet dry up. Of course. We let Monroe deal with Rosemary. Which is a common one. And... Oh, we failed to keep him on his feet. Well, I'm sorry, but the thing, the prompt went away very quickly. I did try. Um, yeah. Okay. So that was episode... Three? Green with Envy? Is that right? Went three? Yeah, that looks about right time-wise. Sorry. I also got... Well, I mean that's that's a, that's the beauty of it. With the, with the choices, you can have so many different combinations of the scenes. I mean, I could play it through and pick like completely opposite ones and get a completely different game, um, which is what I love about these. Um, I mean, even though I've played Shapeshift and Detective twice now, I've still seen like different stuff. Um, but yeah, that's what I, I like about decision-based games that actually change the story. It's like uh, Life is Strange. Um, so much different from, from like The Walking Dead games where it doesn't change it as much. Um, but yeah. Okay, next episode. Dr. Decker. <laughs> weird because a lot of these people coming up it's like I've been talking to them on Discord <laughs> which is slightly surreal I love that that's so nice. particularly with Pearl and everybody Monroe. changes I think this is episode 4 maybe we should have a safe word if you're worried I'm worried I won't like it then we should definitely have one yes what do you think Miss Baratsky it's Madame. I'm sorry, Madame Bratsky. <clears throat> you must feel relaxed. So if a safe word would help, then yes. I love her hair. What should it be? Banana. 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 Banana it is. <laughs> okay. Banana. 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 Sorry, Banana. I'm just practicing. Banana. Places, everyone. And we're live in three, two, welcome back. As promised listeners, we have a special treat for you tonight. Madame Baratsky is a past life regression therapist who claims to have helped hundreds of clients discover their previous selves, from ancient Egyptian concubines to Cold War spies. Welcome, Madame Baratsky. Thank you for having me. And of course, it wouldn't be our show without my better and more beautiful half. Say hello, Monroe. Hello, Monroe. <laughs> Monroe has bravely volunteered to be put to sleep by Madame Baratsky this evening. You make it sound like euthanasia. Yes. She's going to wake you up again. Aren't you? Of course. <laughs> Remind me again why you couldn't do it, Poe? Dodgy knee. In just a moment, Madame Baratsky will put Monroe into a trance. I prefer hypnotic state. Into a hypnotic state. 
and we'll ask her to describe what she sees. Later on, we'll be taking your calls. Have you lived before? Do you remember any past lives? Or is it all just a money-making racket? <coughs> Let us know, Monroe. Yes, Poe? Are you ready to meet your past self? I was born ready. Let's hope you were reborn ready. Madame Baratsky, take it away. Now, Miss Here we Monroe, go. please relax. Close your eyes and focus on the sound of my voice. Listen to nothing else but my voice. Madame Baratsky has started the regression process. And it'd be really nice if you would <laughs> shut up, Poe. <laughs> Focus on your arms. Feel how heavy they are. Feel them sink into the chair. And pull you into the deep. That's how I get to deep, sleep. Dark. Let the darkness consume you. Good. She is fully relaxed and suggestible. <laughs> now you have crossed into a life you have lived before. Do you remember who you are? Yes. Monroe says she can remember a previous life. Shh. Do not rush. Let the world come to you. Let it reveal itself to you. Let the world envelop you. Step into the world and become your former self. Coffee. That says not Edgar, I think. Who's not Edgar? Now tell me what you see. Oh, Poe. <laughs> uh, Poe, not Edgar. Got it. <gasps> I recognise those twiddlies. <gasps> it's the couch and it's not dusty. Oh, we've got the question thing in the corner. Oh, and we've got some really creepy portraits on the wall. Sorry, itchy ear. Okay, stop. I'm scratching my ear. You just noticed the portraits. That was one of the ones that was in the... Um, I think Tim shared that one in the Discord. The one on the left um, is Rachel, I believe. I don't know. I can't see the one on the right. Is that Poe and Monroe? Possibly. Nikki seems to think so. The typing doesn't... I'm ah! I'm supposed to click the arrow. That's what you're going to ask, ask, isn't it? Oh god, okay, that's very faint. Yes, that's being right. Like. It's a gift and a burden. Elizabeth. New character. Where's Dr. Right? Decker? A uh, ship? He's gone sailing. <laughs> Weird. I've been coming here for months, and I don't really know anything about him. Well, he's dead, so, you know, that's fine. What did he tell you about me? Um, that you like stabbing people? I'm not people? violent. Don't know why you'd think that. Let's play a game, Doctor. Okay, let's play a game. You're very accommodating for a therapist. You think of something, then I'll get it. Mm, 
triangle. A triangle. A love triangle, perhaps. Don't say anything. I mean, you haven't said anything since you arrived. Do you believe me now? That I can read your mind. Ooh. Yes, good. good. I like that. You believe me? I really like Dr. Tech. Oh, I need to play I lose that a lot again. of friends right about now. Hmm. Something happens at work. The dry cleaners in town. I can't switch it off. As soon as I lock eyes with a person, I get their thoughts. Okay, uh, is that a fact? I'd like to be a brain surgeon, but I didn't apply myself enough. I am pretty nimble with an iron though. Way it has pulled back. Anyway, there's this guy who walks in with a suit. It's got a stain on the trousers a near the zipper. Accent. And all he's thinking when he drops them off is, Sharon can't pick these up, Sharon can't pick these up. So he starts screaming at me that he needs the hour service or he'll have me fired. So I call the manager. My manager is also called Sharon. So it gets a bit confusing. <laughs> I call Sharon over anyway. Sharon! Sharon! This guy's face is a picture, <laughs> but he's holding it together. Sharon comes over preoccupied. She's thinking about the washing machines. She is the manager, so she normally does that, but this time was different. She was thinking about Nisha. Spinning away in one of them. <gasps> the dry cleaning machines are big. Thanks you can fit someone in quite test. easily. You could probably fit a small person into a normal washing machine, actually, if they really tried. I don't think I'd fit in mine. Anyway, the store manager hears shouting and comes over. The customer, let's call him. Ed says that we shouldn't be advertising something we can't deliver. Says he's a lawyer and he'll sue us. The store manager, whose name I intentionally forget, says he'll sort it out. Sharon, in the meantime, has gone ashen. Okay. I lock onto Sharon's eyes and I see it again. Nisha spinning away in a machine. At this point, I'm guessing Sharon has a fantasy about killing her. Ed finally gives in, throws his suit at me and leaves. The manager looks at me and says, can you work your magic hands over his trousers? He's thinking of me topless in a hot tub, but with way bigger breasts and some other things I'd rather not remember. That's gonna be awkward. Knowing people's thoughts eats your soul. I'm not quite sure what that is. Oh no, that's naked. Let's go to the shop. Ed's trousers have the stain. Keep up, Doctor. Anyway, I take it round back to start working on it. And that's when I see her. Nisha. Nisha. Like a ragdoll in a hurricane. Just spinning inside this big machine. Her face smashing against glass and metal. Jeez. Blood pouring out of every Where's opening. my safe word? How do I banana? She's a mess. How do I banana? <laughs> I said banana. Did that actually work? Because that would be weird. Can you see any jewellery? A ring, maybe? Yes. A ring? Good. I need you to get it for me. Do you understand? 
I understand. Well, this is fascinating, August. We'll be back with more of Monroe's past life in just a moment. What's going on? I'm helping Ellis uncover her past. Why does she need to get this ring? Oh, it's just a technique I use. I think you should bring her back now. It would be dangerous at this point. Then do it at whatever point it won't be. Quiet. I'm trying to concentrate. I want a banana. Nisha kissed me once, so... I slapped her. It's a very, very shiny, um... sofa. Okay, cryptic symbols! Um, okay, so kiss, slap, thoughts, target, washing machine, come back. Ah. Right. Who would want to kill Nisha? Right. I guess... <laughs> Sharon? Banana! She was tried and convicted, so... You used to have a sofa like that, did you, Barry? What did Nisha think about? <sighs> Nisha thought about Jared. A lot. She hated him, but she also wanted to sleep with him at the same time. Banana, 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 banana. It's pretty common. I'm sure there's an interesting scientific term for it. How do I banana? You think Nisha loved him? I've read a lot of minds. I'm still not sure what love looks like. Okay. Sharon's in a psychiatric hospital now. Now it's not time to banana. Okay. Sharon's fingerprints were all over the machines. And her husband was having sex with Nisha. That's all the jury needed. Nobody saw her do it, though. She just didn't have a good enough lawyer. Keep on sliding into my sofa. <laughs> People with money get away with murder all the time, though. Maybe the husband did it. Don't they? Uh, yes, Is there anything rich people can't buy? Happiness. Nisha worked for Sharon as a housemaid. That's how she met the husband. It's so cliche. Nisha was desperate for money, and he was desperate for attention. I never told anyone this, but... Nisha charged Sharon's husband for sex. I mean, she said she would have done it anyway, but since there was a chance of getting paid... I don't think Sharon knew. Would you pay someone to have sex with you, Doctor? People pay people to have sex with them all the time. Just not with money. They do it expecting love, or opportunity, time, companionship, or... orgasms. They closed down the store for a while so the real cleaners could come in. They got rid of all the blood. She looks completely it different wasn't as this just blood. Her skull had split open and was oh. grating against the metal drum. Some of her teeth. Uh, oh, banana. Sorry, Doctor. What did you want to know? Yeah. 
Dry cleaning machines have huge locks. There's no way of shutting yourself in. You really have to get a friend to help. Or manager. Perk. Perchloroethylene. It's what they use in dry cleaning machines. But Nisha didn't drown. The spin cycle broke her spinal cord. So she was paralyzed for a few minutes while her face mashed into everything. Shock probably got her first. Sharon's fingerprints were the only ones on the machine. Actually, hers and Nisha's. The police thought she'd struggled against the machine trying to fight Sharon. Nobody heard anything though. Nisha was asking for it, wasn't she? Oh. I mean, if your partner's cheating on you, you murder their fling, right? Uh, no. Exactly. She'd have killed her husband for sure. Why start with Nisha? It doesn't make any sense. Also, that would mean that Monroe gets killed by postboy. I think Jared killed Nisha. I saw Nisha's body in the machine. Her eyes were still open, crying blood. But I looked into them and there was peace. Nothing else. I missed some questions because I went back. Just peace. Because you could ask about the kiss, but I don't have that option anymore. But um, that's fine. Next time. They arrested Sharon for Nisha's murder. Sentenced to 18 years. One for each of Nisha's. She was only 18? Shit. Is that enough? Maybe murder should be punishable by death. Um, but then... Hmm. It really depends. No. You think people can change? No. I just think they should have... Maybe. They should be punished. Maybe I can change. You know, you've got no way of... Um... Being able to... You know, death is, you know, quick. Merciful. You've got no way of... I don't want to say suffering, but, you know, that's kind of what I want to say. Plus, you know, so many people get convicted incorrectly. I did see Sharon once after the trial. She didn't talk. This one's deep. But in her head, all I could see was Nisha going round and round. Her mind was literally stuck like a broken record. So she saw it, but I she watched the trial from the gallery. It. Not many people made eye contact with me, but Sharon did. She wanted to die. Really die. I don't think she killed Nisha. Sharon's defense. She said Jared killed Nisha. The umbrella man. Jared's the umbrella man. It's a nickname. We were on a work do and it started raining and then Jared pulls out this tiny umbrella out of nowhere <laughs> and then gets handsy with any girl stupid enough to duck under it. Hence, umbrella man. Oh, man. Nisha was good at cleaning, what can I say? Often I'd go to the back of the machines to hoover the lint trays out and Nisha was there with Jared, hoovering away already. Tea. We may have to have a tea break at some point. I'm allergic to nuts. 
This is definitely normal milk. Ah! Banana! It's banana milk. Oh, I got an achievement okay. for that. Savvy girl. Banana. Banana. Monroe, you're back. Banana. 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 What's wrong with her? She's stuck between two lives. Monroe. Monroe. Monroe, listen to my voice. You can rest now. You can go in after her. Just sit down, please. <laughs> oh dear, this can only go poorly. How can I go in after her? I'd have to get in her brain. I'm very good at what I do. But no, no, no. Sleep. <laughs> oh, I want that magic power, and then I could just go to sleep. There's a good boy. Okay, I'm gonna go with rings. You want to see my ring? What? I don't remember wearing one. Shall I take it off? <sighs> yes, because the creepy lady wants the ring. There's something written inside it. Most extraordinary. Does it have an inscription? Four, two, one, zero, one, zero, zero, zero. I swear that was one of the codes in Please Don't Touch Anything. <laughs> you didn't choose the ring. Fair enough. I figured I'd find out what was going on. Some kind of password? Okay, Umbrella Man. Jared, the Umbrella Man. Okay, I just have to pause briefly to make some more tea. But please enjoy this jaunty music and again Leaky's awesome screen.
All right, and we're back. Select the right input. Um, great stream. Well, glad you're enjoying it. It's not over yet. Um, yes, I should have to leave a review on st on Steam. All right, umbrella. He's weird, like a spider. Sharon ducked under his umbrella that time and his hands slithered around her body and kind of rested under her breast. Slither. Everyone knew he was touching it. Sharon just gave a weak smile and wriggled away. Mm. I tried to read his mind, but it was like a stereogram. Jared's mind was a mess of colored dots that didn't make any sense. I never knew what he was thinking, ever. Interesting. There's only one other person I know that's like that. Yep. Dr. Decker. Dr. Decker. <laughs> His mind's also mush. I actually came here today to tell him that I don't want any more sessions. He creeps me out. His facial expression didn't change. Nothing. It was like he was wrapping his arms around his prey. He didn't seem to be particularly enjoying touching her breast, just... For science. For science! Jared quit after the murder. Well, so did I, to be fair. Well... I've kind of quit everything now. Only half his brain is merged, the other half is crisp rice. You can't just think of a question mark. Yes, I can. If you've got a question, let me have it. Cat! People get like this. Flustered when I can read their minds. Cat. Ah, yes, that is a double deck. I agree. Cat. I got to say cat. I didn't get to do the cat noise, but I got to say cat. I already said that Jared killed Nisha. Or... Something did. Uh oh. -uh. Do you believe in the supernatural? It's a traveller. Yes. Jared killed Nisha. I, mean, I don't think my I'm mind safe so. Okay. I saw it happen, but I couldn't tell the police. They were in the back room. Jared and Nisha. Okay. They were kissing. And then she opened the door to the machine. She just got in. And Jared, he shut it. He didn't have fingers. He had... I can't. And the kiss. His tongue, it was, it was a giant worm, and it just slithered from his mouth into hers. Uh, I tried to catch Nisha's eye. Very different. But it wasn't her. It took her over so quickly. Its thoughts, I've seen. I think Mary Grant wrote a book like this. Dr. Decker said that if I can imagine another world, I can move myself into it. Just dream myself away. Become someone else. Someone people love. Someone beautiful. <laughs> someone who isn't me. What do you think, Doctor? Can I just dream myself away? Oh. So is this the dream? Or... Thank you. Uh, oh, hello. Jared knows I know. Something and everything after. And he's coming for me. Achievement. I guess I should start dreaming. I've always liked the name Monroe. <laughs> what do you think, Doctor? Would I make a good Monroe? 
Oh, mine back. So is this the dream? Or is that the dream? Or are we the dream? In an hour, you'll wake. Is it from some deep sleep? Yes, the game went to Dr. Decker. Hi, welcome back, Jesse. It's the all connected. It was all a dream. Ah, she's nabbing their wallets. That should cover it. I'll see myself out. <laughs> what was the code on the ring, though? Also, why not just take the money and the cards? <laughs> Dr. Decker. <laughs> on that note, here's a message from our sponsor that you're sure to enjoy. The police are looking for Miss Baratsky. It's a shame she didn't stick around. Was she even licensed? She came highly recommended. From who? Herself, when she knocked on the door yesterday morning. You let a complete stranger take over my body? I didn't know what she was going to do. Stupid power indeed. I feel so violated. I can't even tell our listeners. We were robbed. She literally took my wallet and your purse. I know. That was everything I had. And that wasn't all she took. What else is gone? My adoption papers. What? My adoption papers are missing. I didn't know you were adopted. Well, I am. I'm not ashamed to say it. Sorry, Poe. I, I wasn't suggesting that. It's unsettling when someone takes something so personal. Why did you have them Just on who you? does she think she is? A past lives travel agent who robbed us whilst we were dreaming. But it wasn't a dream. You were there. You and me. Yes, just like Wizard of Oz. Maybe the reason the people looked familiar is because you made it all up yourself. So, are we dreaming now or is this real? I can't tell anymore. Want me to give you a squeeze? No, this is real. How can you be so sure? Because in my dreams you're much more of a charmer. <laughs> and richer, I'd imagine. Too soon, Paul. Too soon. Next time on Dark <gasps> Nights with Poe and Monroe. I want that image. You're live on air, line one. There was an animal in the road, howling like a wolf. He said it was a hairy animal. Size of a man. And the moon was full. We're going werewolf hunting. I'm Casper Light. You have to stay away from Wolf Lane. I'm sorry. You have no idea what's at stake. Dark Knights. With Pearl and Lundberg. All right. Okie dokes. So, I picked the banana there. Well, I wasn't going to pick a clown. I chose coffee. Well, I thought it was tea, but you know. Uh, I thought of a triangle. Um, I think people could change. I wasn't why I'm against capital punishment, but sure. I think rich people can get away with murder. You wouldn't pay someone to have sex with me. Mm, fair enough. You wouldn't murder your partner's fling. Well, I wouldn't murder anyone, so yeah. And I believe in the supernatural. Yes. Cool. Lots of people believing in the supernatural there. Alright, episode five. Exciting. I believe this is the one starring Barry. Six. Ah, fair enough. Ah, this one's got Beck. I read for Beck. <laughs> Everyone read for Beck, probably.
with Pearl Any and Manuel. Bless me, Father Poe, for I have sinned. Again, Munro? It's only been a week. I know. I just can't stop myself. What is it this time? I've been lustful. Munro, I'm shocked. Lustful for our listeners and their dirty, dirty secrets. I just can't get enough of them. Hear that, listeners? Yeah, my She's insatiable. I really am. You'd better not leave her hanging. Phone in now and tell us what naughty things you've been up to. In? The confession room. Now remember, callers, no last names, no strings attached, and no consequences. Just call in to confess and let us absolve you of all of your sins. It's cheaper than therapy. And almost as effective. This is blasphemous. Um, headphones is on. Bro? God, I hope not. Excellent. Oh, we have a caller on line one. Line one, you're through to the confession booth. Oh, yeah. You're live on air, Line One. What's your name? Oh, uh, <clears throat> Beck. Welcome, Beck. Spill forth the burning secrets of your tormented soul. He means, <laughs> what do you want to confess? I, um, crashed my boss's car. Oh, no. That's terrible. Were you hurt? No, no, but the, uh, the car was, uh... Totaled. It was a Rolls. Ugh. Wow. I know. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's uh, it's really bad. Well, how did it happen? Were you swerving to avoid something? Yeah, there was an animal in the road. It was uh, really hairy. It must have been uh, a bear or something else, because it was huge. A hairy bear. As big as a human. Honestly, maybe bigger. I remember because it was a full moon. What happened to the animal? I ran off. I don't think it was hurt, but I did hear howling. Howling? Yeah, like a like a wolf. Like, um, ow. Well, that was terrible, obviously, but like a wolf. <laughs> well, that sounds mysterious, Ow. doesn't it, Poe? It does indeed. Werewolves Thank London. you for your confession, Beck. Yes, thank you, Beck. It sounds like you're still traumatized by your experience, but I'm glad you weren't physically hurt. Father Poe says, You are forgiven. Oh. And we'll be back for more confessions oh, after this message. For the host, super boy. Well, that was kind of strange, wasn't it, Poe? Yes. Although I get the feeling he was angling for something. Really? Seemed genuine to me. They could have wireless headphones, Leaky. It's just... I don't know. I've seen you don't most radio peoples. No, I'm being silly. You're not being silly, Alice. I suspect he was trying to make us think the same thing. He said it was a hairy animal size of a man and the moon was full oh. you don't think there could be werewolves in august do you it does seem unlikely poe you're not going to believe this but there's a full moon tonight maybe we should leave early and check it out don't you have other plans it's your birthday tomorrow i wasn't planning on having an early night let me call gwendolyn Bring up your wife. Welcome back, listeners. This is Dark Nights with Poe. And Monroe. And we're in the confession booth. The confession booth. Line two, you're through to Father Poe. Bless me, Father Poe, for I have sinned. What is your name, child? Casper. And what dark anguish burns your mortal soul? Casper. He means, what would you like to confess? <laughs> It's Casper with a K. There's actually something else I wanted to talk about. Okay. Off the air. Well, you'll have to wait um, a little while, Casper, until after the show. Well, I could wait until then, but that might not give you enough time. 
Time for what? To save yourself. Well, you're in luck, Casper, as I have a story queued up. Listeners will be back in a few minutes after this spooky tale. Okay, Casper. It's just us now. What are we saving ourselves from this time? Don't go to Wolf Lane. We're not going to Wolf Lane. Well, we might be. The werewolf, remember? Yes, you are. But you shouldn't. And why is that, Casper? Because it will be the last time anyone sees you. Why? I can't give details. But something bad will happen if you go to Wolf Lane tonight. <sighs> you know, if you want us to take you seriously, perhaps elaborate on the something bad will happen bit. There's a billion other places you could go, and I'm just asking you to avoid one. But if you have a death wish, go to Wolf Lane. Is that a death threat, Casper? No. This is your future. Trust me. I know. Because you have a time machine? Because I was there when it happened. Well, we're certainly putting the dark and dark nights tonight, August. Maybe we should stop taking calls. Nonsense, Munro. What would this show be without the heady mix of terror and titillation provided by our callers? Well, this radio host has been titillated enough for one night, which is good, because it's time for Betty Buys. <gasps> Betty Buys! Sweet dreams, August. Thank you for listening. Yes, and remember, that needs to be a gift. don't have nightmares. With Poe and Monroe. So what do you think? I think it's only a matter of time before Casper tries to kill us. He's just an attention seeker. So am I. I'm not trying to kill anyone, though. So, mm. okay. what do you want to do about it? I don't know. He didn't really threaten us, so probably doesn't warrant getting the police involved. Are you sure? No. I just wish... I wish we could have one simple, uneventful, boring night. <laughs> I don't think you'd like boring, Miss Monroe. You're right. Which is why we're going werewolf hunting. Casper didn't put you off? No. Telling me not to do something makes me want to do it twice as hard. Really? Well, <laughs> definitely don't do the whistle swinger again. You like the whistle swinger, don't you? No. Even if it's twice as hard? We're not going to make it out of here if you <laughs> keep talking like that. <laughs> oh, no, she doesn't trust the police, Falbo. You really but... think we can see werewolves? It would be foolish and why to rule are you it sneezing, out altogether. Jesse? I know it's almost your birthday, but, well, a full moon waits for no man. Or werewoman. Exactly. I guess it could be romantic. You and me, huddled in the car, looking at the stars? They say Wolf Lane's the best place in August for stargazing. Do they? There's hardly any light pollution. That must be why the werewolf... What about you know who? I've told her I'll be late. Just late? Well, we'll see. You go ahead. I need to check something. Who are you calling? Hi. Sorry, one minute. Okay, I'm going. Hi, it's Monroe. No, no, you look great. <laughs> totally convincing. <laughs> yeah. We'll see you soon. Yeah, oh? yes. It's all right, Alice. You don't need to do that. It's not a hold up. I beg to differ. This is for your own protection. Who are you? I'm Casper Light. I'm from the show. You just called into our radio show. Oh no. I must have come back again. 
Are you okay? No. This means oh. I've already failed. What is it you want exactly? I work for a company called Coit Industries. They do experimental stuff. A scientist? No, I'm Eminem. The rapper? Mishaps <laughs> and malfunctions. We clean up messes. I'm here to save you. Save us from what? We all Disassembly? Go you have to stay away from Wolf Lane. We're not going to Wolf Lane. You told us not to when you called, so we're going straight home. Isn't that right, Monroe? Yeah. I'm so tired. <sighs> See? There's no need for any of this. Please, put the gun down. I'm sorry. You have no idea what's at stake. Can we jump him? He's shaking. Don't try it. It always ends badly. Rock, paper, scissors? <gasps> oh. Okay. <laughs> paper. Okay, all right, scissors, so rock. Okay, so rock. Do paper, so do scissors. Oh, beat him with paper, okay, sure. No, now he gets... I was going to go for rock. Damn you, Barry. Back you go. Oh, in the first one. I did do paper. Oh, you beat him with paper. I misread that. <laughs> oh, well, never mind. Where are I'm we? I'm very bad at rock, paper, scissors okay? anyway. We're in the sound booth at the studio. Why? I don't know. He's locked us in. I'm just going to go, damn it, Barry. <laughs> I've tried the door already. Is there another way out? Death? I'm assuming Casper will let us out when he's done with us. <sighs> well, I guess if I'll you be beat him, then me. this is a different you scene. You said you wanted to try something different this year. I love her dress. I'm sorry I had to do that. It's to keep you safe. I work for a company called Coit Industries. We specialize in speculative technology. I say we, the science team do the heavy lifting. I'm just m and mishaps and malfunctions. It's my job to clean up the results. Normally I don't intervene, just let it happen, then clear up. But people will still be listening to you years from now. Because I've saved you. Escape rooms are the best so birthday present. So the whole werewolves thing. Choice. I don't want to wake up alone. I don't get it. Let's face it. Birthday or not, you'd have gone home to your wife after the show. I know you'd have stayed late and we'd have had some fun, but eventually you'd leave. Like you always do. Monroe. I just wanted someone to wake up with. Aww. To wish me happy birthday and give me a hug. But what's that got to do with Wolf Lane? What was an Alan Wake? Nothing. Reference? It doesn't matter now. Maybe if you get a time machine, you'll find out. Okay, it's like this. Around midnight, you're on Wolf Lane. At the same time, an organization I can't name is testing a, an experimental weapon. The test glitches, you get fried and m and are called in for disposal because it's not your normal run of the mill explosion. 
Tomorrow, the news spreads that you've vanished. You're never found. <sighs> Time travel is Coit's most profitable service. The key is subtlety. This you don't is hardly use it subtle. To kill Hitler. You use it to manipulate election results, justify wars, <laughs> or in my case, rescue two local radio hosts so you can keep listening to their show. You're welcome, by the way. Let us out! Let us out! Is that the same No point door? yelling, Munro. It sounds a window. in and out. Fine. Let's use our mind power to open the door. So that vessel. is how the world ends. You didn't hear it from me. Soundproof, in and out. They can't hear I anything. I wish you'd say something. I'm just going to go. I leave it another minute just to be safe, though. Good luck, Poe and Monroe. Soundproof. Soundproof. Did he not... <laughs> Did I just open that with my mind? Yes. Try locking it again. Or we could just leave. Try locking it what again. What if your telekinesis only works in this room and only on your birthday? Wouldn't you want to know? I'm sorry, but I have to try locking it again. That's just funny. You happy? You're my superwoman, Monroe. Either way. Feeling any pain downstairs? No. Then it doesn't work. Hmm. <laughs> oh, we need we need a an, an, a thinking intensifies Monroe gif as well. It's eight o'clock, and this is your August update. A broken gas pipe on Wolfling caused an explosion last night that claimed the life of entrepreneur Venice Pavel. 29-year-old Miss Pavel was the newly appointed CEO of Intervine Futures, a company whose breakthrough research in quantum mechanics promised consumer teleportation within the next five years. A gas leak on Wolf Lane. The weather tonight will be clear and dry with highs of 12 and lows of 8. And that's your August update. I love her hair in this. A gas leak on Wolf Lane. We need to check these updates before we go live. That could have been us. I'm not sure that I believe any of that. You think Casper caused the explosion? Probably. He just didn't want us on his conscience. Why? Why not kill all of us? I don't have a crystal ball or a time <laughs> machine. I, I like the know. gifts. Teleportation. Miss Pavel was competition. He said he was saving us. Maybe he didn't. Maybe Miss Pavel wouldn't have been at Wolf Lane if we'd been there. Or if we'd have been there, we'd have saved her. Well... August police can deal with all of that now. August police need to outsource. Good <laughs> thinking. And your brain is as big and wonderful as your heart. Oh, I was thinking Sam, not them, but yeah, sure. Oh, you shouldn't have. It's Perkle. It's time for our first caller. Line one, you're on the air. Aww. Next time on Dark Nights <gasps> with Poe and six. Welcome back to Radio August Treasure Hunt, sponsored by August Museum. Good news, Monroe only has one more capsule to plant. Don't worry, you'll not be hungry for much longer. What's that painting? Oh, this one looks exciting. If you can fall out of love, we can fall out of here. She doesn't want you to get out. She wants to eat souls. Oh, Rachel. <laughs> Dark Nights. With Poe and Monroe. <sighs> Big finale time! Alright, so I chose lust rather than vanity. I'm okay with that choice. You let Monroe lead? Yep, yeah, definitely. 
kept Casper on the line. I lost rock, paper, scissors. Yeah. Barry. Psh. Um. I chose paper first because everyone usually goes for rock first and therefore paper always beats rock. That's, what, that's why you do it. But yeah, Muttley laughed. Maybe I should then do scissors first because assuming that the person will think, oh, I don't know. Should have just gone for rock. Um, I chose to retest the uh, telekinesis theory. Uh, yeah, because that was funnier. There aren't so many decisions in that one. Alright, muddly laugh. <laughs> I can't do a muddly laugh. Sorry. in the room. The names go by whitey whitey fast. That's my, my complaint. The names need to stay on longer so I can look at all of them. Dark Knights. <laughs> it started with a wish. I didn't know it could end like this. Okay. Creepy, creepy skulls. It's always a good start. And the Buddha. Hey, Poe. What are you doing? <gasps> That's the painting ah, from Dr. Tacos. Extraordinary. What is your wish? A wish, you say? Let me think. Okay. Book. Always go for the book. I wish that Alice Munro was my oh. intellectual equal. You want to dumb her down? Um, that I'm her intellectual equal. <laughs> you chose the heart. Fair enough. I always choose the book. How does it work? It's magic. Isn't it? Yes. Uh, some kind of sensor. Go on. Ask it something. Okay. Um. What time is it? The Equinox. Huh. I believe it is. Sometimes she's cryptic. How about this then, Rose? What's the square root of 1,296? I can't do that maths in my head right now. She's confused. I'll do a reboot. Oh, no, 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 it's fine. It's wonderful. I'm sure August will love it. Museums aren't what they used to be, Pa. No. Something that is. They're much rarer than ever before. Too kind. Something. Let me get those prizes for you. Of course. Happy to help. Let's call it payment for that wish. <laughs> yes. Monroe will be pleased with my wish. Square root. Yes, the thick buttons. Square root of seven nine six is thirty six. I can't remember how you calculate square roots. I wanted to find a capture. That would have been cool. Where are these woods? That is the question. 
Very colour coordinated. I love the lighting on this. Also, it's reminding me very much of Perplex City and the cube. <laughs> if anyone ever played that ARG. Yeah. Oak tree! I'm so tired. I could be watching reruns of Moonlighting right now. Treasure buried. Remind me why this is my job again? You have smaller fingers than me, Monroe, and you can get into smaller spaces. So it's nothing to do with you having the warm, cozy studio then? Absolutely not. Uh, how many capsules to go? Uh, one, I think, but I've just dropped it. You could just tag its location there. Oh, it's okay. I found it. Good work, Monroe. Going live in three, two... Welcome back, listeners. Good news. Monroe only has one more capsule to I plant. Like Poe's shirt, That's right, Poe. I'm almost done. And then our listeners can start trying to find them. Yes, thanks to the generosity of August Museum, you could find a buried treasure. Uh, tell them what's in the capsules, Monroe. Only the best treasure of all, Poe. A free family ticket to August Museum. And that's not all. One lucky capsule has a secret treasure in it, hidden by the curator himself. I wonder what that is, Poe. Hmm. Oh, sandwich. Perhaps it's edible, like fine caviar. Great. I've been hiding fish eggs. Did one of them feel different to the others, Monroe? No, not really. Well, handle them carefully, in case they open a portal to another world. Could do with one. Okay then, sounds like Monroe is getting a little frosty. Time for these words from our sponsors. <sighs> Remember, Monroe, if you speak with a smile, people know you're smiling. <laughs> Don't tell me to smile. Am I smiling now? Are you being <laughs> rude, Monroe? Can you hear me being rude? Yes, actually, the I HD? can. Oh, the headphones. Probably. Well, yeah, I hate it when people tell women to smile. I think I'm going to throw this smile. last one in the river, Poe. Uh, don't contaminate the river, Monroe. Fine. There's one other place I can think of putting it. Okay, lovely lady. Um, just bring it back with you. Thank God this day's over. See you soon. Uh, just wait smile. on the line. We're live in three, two... Welcome back, listeners. It's time to find the treasure. Get the geocaching app. Search for hashtag Poe and Monroe, no spaces, and join the hunt. If you see Monroe, tell her dinner's in the dog. Because you cooked it. I'm an exceptional cook. Monroe, on the other hand, burns everything. Like our friendship. Sorry, Monroe. You know, I love you, really. Let's have a little break whilst Monroe gets back to the studio. Good luck, August. Yes, good luck. <laughs> I can't imagine the end of this ending up with him proposing in Shapeshifter, so... Um. <laughs> Don't worry, Rose. You'll not be hungry for much longer. The little girl eats peoples! She eats your soul. She has amazing outfits. Sorry about the mood. It just felt lonely. You're not alone, Alice. You've got me. I don't know, do I? Of course you do. You know how much I care for you. And your wife? Keep it's complicated, you know that. The thing is, I'm not sure it is. What are you saying? Nothing. I'm just tired, I guess. What we have is special, the most special thing. And your marriage? It's Schrodinger's marriage. I'm simultaneously married and not married it's at the not same how time. That works. No, Poe, you're married. 
there's a piece of paper that states exactly where you are at this current point in time. Alice, we're going live. Let me. Three, two... Welcome back to Radio August Treasure Hunt, sponsored by August Museum. Earlier today, I placed nine capsules in and around town for you lovely listeners to find, and one of them was sealed by the curator himself. Find that capsule and you'll win. A hot dinner date with me, Alice Monroe. Monroe, that's... What if it's a girl? Oh. I hadn't thought about that. I would love that, actually. <laughs> yeah, we Did you mean hot dinner as in the food is hot? Or a hot date? Well, I suppose that depends on who wins, doesn't it, Poe? Astounding. Monroe is offering... Can I win, please? ...a dinner date with the first person who finds the curator's capsule. Good luck, I suppose. Oh, and spoiler alert, I wasn't that great at hiding them. Finding them should be easy. Much like getting a date with you, then. You could always try and find it yourself, Poe. But I already have so much of you already, Monroe. Well, look, we have our first caller. Tea. You know what? We're going to put that collar on hold and give you all a chance to find those capsules. We are? Just for a minute. Scoot, find those capsules. What's going on, Monroe? I'm going to let you decide. Decide what? You looked so sad when I offered that dinner date. You can pull it. You're a grown woman, Monroe. I shouldn't stop you. But you could. How? Just say. Find the right capsule and get this hot dinner date. Or get nothing. And I'll call the whole thing off. I'm certain I'll make the wrong choice. Hot dinner date. If you want to pimp yourself out, that's your business. Such a sweet way of putting it. I think it's a mistake. Hot but you let me do it anyway. I'm not the boss of you. <laughs> That's a shame. All right, caller one, you're on the line. Okay, we're back, and it's time to take our first caller. Hello, it's Eric. Eric Planner. Hello, Eric. What's happening? Oh my God. <laughs> Hi, Monroe. Hi, Eric. Hi, I am such a big fan. Oh, I'm doing a heart shape with my fingers, but you can't see it. I found a capsule. Which one? Outside the doctor's <laughs> surgery, underneath the bench. That's one of ours. Crack it open, Eric, and let us know what's inside. David Holm. Okay. FMV legend. Well, while Eric's trying to work out what he's won, tell us more about the doctor's surgery, Monroe. Okay. It's a general practice. I don't actually go there. But I'm sure it's very nice. You're next. Where do you go? I haven't needed to see a doctor since I got to August. I'm more of a holistic girl anyway. Okay, let's put a pit in that then. Um, I wonder how Eric's doing. Eric? Eric, what did you find? Eric? I can't hear anything, Poe. Maybe his phone ran out of battery. Weird. Shall we take the next one? <gasps> yes. You're live on Radio August. I love you, Monroe. Oh, that's so sweet. That's Do I win a date? <laughs> sure. If you find the curator's prize. I'm at the railway crossing. I'm over to the capsule now. What was that? That didn't sound good. Sounds like he dropped the phone. He didn't even get their name. They'll be back on in a minute. Great. Died. Oh, no. Why don't you tell us about the railway station while we wait? Of course. 
August Railway Station was built in 1936 by the Thomas Moore Clay and Brick Company. The very first train route was between Birmingham <gasps> and August and all the villages Birmingham. in between. It closed down about five <laughs> years ago. Good set. Because, quite frankly, not many people wanted to come to August. Birmingham! Did I ever say that you're a know-it-all? Not live on air, but I'll take a compliment anywhere it's served. Po, I don't think Caller 2 is coming back. <gasps> hmm. Oh no, Barry! Two in a row. If we lose three callers, that's a record. Well, there is one on the line. No! Okay, we're gonna And save we'll some... be back on the hour with the next August update. Until then, stay safe, August. And don't do anything I wouldn't do. That doesn't really leave much. <laughs> oh dear. I don't like the sound of that. I just remembered I made a wish today. What did you wish for? It was trivial. I honestly can't remember. Uh -huh. Did it have anything to do with these capsules? The curator did say something about the capsules being payment for the wish. And you're telling me this now? It just seemed like a little bit of fun at the time. The, the painting was talking. You made a wish with a talking painting. Now you're saying it that does sound a little suspicious, doesn't it? You think? <laughs> Maybe I should go and see the curator again. I want to see what's in the capsule. Monroe, it could be dangerous. That's my little name, honey. Uh-oh. Ooh, that was interesting. Ooh, I like that bookend statue thing that looks like a six. Where am I? Hello. I'm Ellis. Shh. Can and you help me, please? Deal with Rose. Okay. Try that table. Where am I? The library. Um, members library. only library. Yeah. Well. Oh, I don't get to I'm see Rachel. Not a member. Damn. No, you're not. Rose sent you here. Rose. The demon that granted Mr. Pope's wish this morning. Demon? I think I'm just gonna leave. You can't leave. Until you find the right book. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Fifty shades, here I come. Get to pick a book, right. Okay, so. Ho, love, religion, thesaurus, dictionary, decker, shape-shifting, or exit. Well, I mean, I'm obviously going to pick exit, but I do like the other nods. Can I book this one out? It's the exit. So, you're not just a pretty face. Oh, I need a picture of that smile. She eats people, you know. Who? Rose. Why? She's a canvas demon. They grant wishes in exchange for souls. They ate Barry. She ate Barry's soul. Thanks. Don't forget to return it. Our overdoofies cost the earth. Hmm. First time? First time what, Barry? Oh, first time getting out. Okay. Well, now I'm here as Poe, so, you know. Can I trap him in the library forever and get his soul eaten? <laughs> Where's Monroe? About this tall red hair. Shh. You have a wonderful library. It is, isn't it? Why am I here? Rose sent you. 
It's your wish that Monroe is your intellectual equal. Remember? Why here? It's the first of 3,000 tests that will, <laughs> by the end of it, ensure that you're intellectual equals. So it's school again? Hardly, Mr. Pope. Now, if you please select a book from the table behind you, we can test your intellect against Miss Monroe's. How many books did it take for Monroe? She chose one book. Am I expected to get the same amount? You're expected to fail. 2,999 times, Mr. Pope. Don't worry. Time passes differently in here. When you get out, she'll have found love, moved on, and you will have not. Right. Monroe, Dark Knights, August equals Exit Frankie Rose, Divorce. I'm going to go with Exit. Oh, and I just got an achievement that says, I think, Exit Fail. The Exit. It's obvious. It was for Monroe, but not for you. <laughs> I wanted to see what happened. Okay, clearly the answer is he needs to get a divorce. If he wants to be with Monroe. Divorce. It's what Monroe wants. Congratulations, Mr. Pope. Miss Monroe is your intellectual superior. <laughs> yes, exit fail, you copied Monroe's work. It's the only way Monroe and I will truly be together. Guess 2,999 more tests to come. Okay. You said this episode was going to be longer. Okay. I'm ready. Not now, Mr. Pope. When I'm ready. Your deal with Rose has terminated. Now, you just owe the library. longer to you because you took more calls. Oh, right, okay. Fair enough. What just happened? Oh, I don't know. I didn't get to see, hear Were all the you? calls. Oh. Oops. In a library. Yes, we had the same dream. I don't think it was a dream. Maybe there were chemicals in the capsules. Yes. I didn't get to hear the one I read for. a joint hallucination <laughs> that lasted much longer than the time we've been away. Do you think all the capsules are the same? Probably. You go and get the remaining capsules. I'll visit the curator. Oh well. Next time we stream it, I will listen to more calls. Well, I can see your books. Sorry, Monroe. Let's just go quickly whilst we still can. I mean, I would have taken more calls, but I wanted to save lives. I already lost Barry. I didn't want to lose anyone else. I mean, I would have stopped before you, but I really wanted to hear your call. Because <laughs> I knew you were caller too, because you're the only one that got a number. <laughs> Next time I'll save you. Sorry, August. <gasps> Sorry. <gasps> Who are you? Just a girl. Are you lost, honey? No. This <sighs> place is my prison. You looking for this? Yes, I am. Give it to me, please. It's very dangerous. Be careful what you wish for. She has a teddy bear. Uh oh, it's open.
Two residents of August have been reported missing. Both were listeners looking for our geocached capsules. The remaining capsules have been recovered and are in police custody. We'll have live updates as and when they come in. In related news, a man posing as the curator of August Museum is also wanted for questioning by the police. He's potentially dangerous, so do not approach him. Curator Jones is described as tall, dark, and mysterious. Sounds like you, Poe. Don't give people the idea it was me. Sorry. No, I can vouch for Poe's whereabouts last night. And most nights, actually. Should we tell them what happened, Monroe? I'm not sure they're ready. Ah, yes. Let's take a quick break now, then, shall we? Ellis, ratings. You can't say things like that on air. Is that all you care about? Ratings? Uh, no. I, I thought that's what you cared about. Being a star, turning Radio August into your platform. That's not me, Poe. I care about you. Whatever you want. You care about me? Care. I'm scared, Monroe. Of what? If I take it back, if, if that stupid wish somehow comes true again. That's just convenient, isn't it? We should have stayed in that room. Just the two of us. What about the missing people? They're missing. The police will find them. No, they won't, Poe. And I feel responsible. We're both responsible. You don't know what happened. Just some delusions. Well, I'm gonna help look. Are you coming with me? Or do you just care about Radio August? You. I always choose you. Where to, Monroe? Adventure, Poe. Always adventure. <gasps> Thank you for playing! Directed by Tim Carls. Cast by Clemens Kering, Monroe, Leah Cunard, Violet, Ashlyn Diaz, Quentin, Andre de April Moon, and now it's going too fast, sorry. Guest voiceovers, Frankie, Beck, Missy, Jazz, Caller 2, Aaron, Eric, Eddie, Queenie, Helena, Q. Q's the one I read for because I thought that sounded appropriately mysterious, but that was the last caller, so. Next time I'm going to have to listen to all the callers. Is that the Jesse Cox you're thinking of? I have no idea if that's the Jesse Cox you're thinking of. Um, I believe they've done previous voiceovers, so... Dark Nights. That was and awesome. Wonder. Okay. Oh, true fan. Achievement unlocked. That's probably for playing all the episodes. Okay, so. Dark Nights with Poe and Monroe. There was a song? So, I think I failed on getting um, more achievements. I think I got seven. So I got... Oh, the song was in the heart. Yeah, there were, it seemed like there were quite a few achievements in the heart one. Um, yeah, so that's definitely going to be several more playthroughs. But yeah, I think I failed at the challenge. I'm, uh, I, I, I got seven, so I got less than everybody on achievement wise. But that was still pretty awesome, and it just means that I get to play it again and again and again and again. <laughs> um, um, I don't know when I'm going to play it next, but definitely hoping that the console release comes out for Extra Life. 
um, and that's November, so, you know, one would hope. Um, so, okay, I wish with my head. I chose the sandwich. <laughs> I gave Poe the finger. <laughs> um, I said po Monroe could date listeners. No, I said it was her choice. Um, I stopped taking calls. No, I should have taken all the calls. And I chose more books than Monroe. Um, I went to look for the capsules with Monroe. And in the end, I chose Monroe. Priorities. Okay, so episodes. Ah, so I can just replay an episode if I wanted to. Oh, why, why can't I pick six? Why can't I pick episode six? Or the menu. Uh, I'm now stuck in a menu. Uh, Tim, I broke the game. <laughs> to the return to menu button on the console uh, on the controller oh well. um <laughs> yeah time we got a bug okay so um that was how long was that where's the, the link that was two hours and 44 minutes 44 and a half minutes so yeah it's two hours 45 for a single playthrough that's not bad um that was that was fun I'm loving the menu screen. I'm now stuck on the menu screen. Um, yeah, that was awesome. Um, so, right, wrap up. Everyone go buy this game because it's awesome. Um, it's on Steam at the moment, but it's coming out on consoles later this year. I believe someone said Q3, but if we just go later this year, then that, that covers everything. Um, Dark Nights with Poe Monroe, uh, season one, six episodes. Um, hoping there's a season two. Really hoping there's a season two. I've been excited about this since I heard about it like over a year ago. Um, so I'm really happy that it's out now. Um, and it was definitely worth the hype. Definitely worth the hype. Though, episode four, Dr. Decker didn't feel like it quite fit in with everything else and I'm still very confused about A the adoption papers and B the code on the inside of the ring. It didn't didn't seem to fit as well as all the other ones. But that's just mine. Um I really wish I'd listened to all the callers in episode six now. Uh, that was that was selfish of me not letting everyone have a voice. <laughs> um Which was my favourite episode? I really liked In Bed with Poe Monroe. And I really liked it started with a wish. So two and six, I think, were pretty damn good. Um, like top of my list. Um, and as much as I like Dr. Decker, it just, yeah, it has I, too many questions, not enough answers. And it was kind of terrifying. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely interested in, well, of course I'm going to play it again. Um, I will stream it again, I think, on Steam. Definitely going to stream it again on Steam. Rather than waiting for a console release. Whether I do it this week or whether I do it later on, I don't know. Um, if anyone has any preference, do let me know. Because um, I'm always up for listening to viewers and what they want. Um, speaking of viewers, thank you everyone who's tuned in tonight. I really appreciate the company and... Um, especially thanks to Barry and Tim and everyone else who tunes in from the Deveki, uh, no, Deveki Discord. Um, and also thank you to my regular watchers. Um, yeah. Oh, I've got so many questions now and I really want to play that again right now. But I also probably need to, you know, go to bed soon. And I'm irked that I missed the, um, the cat sound. seen the achievement about cat but I hadn't seen the cat sound so mm. but yes now that was awesome and all the cameos were awesome and 
actors were awesome and uh, it was just a really well put together game and the fact that it literally took until a menu screen at the end to for me to break it is pretty impressive because you know me I'm quite good at breaking games I even have a command for it I can't remember what it is right now but it's on my list of commands um, yeah no definitely it's on sale right now because it's just come out it literally came out today um, I think there's a bundle with I think it's double decker so it must be dr. decker the bundles with um, which was the first game that came out in this universe shapeshift detective I played on Sunday um, that both dr. decker and shapeshift detective are on Xbox PlayStation switch as well as PC um, yep just follow all the links that Leaky's putting in the chat because you know mind you everyone here is probably already owns it but um, you know and if you do own it please go and give it a review because you know that's how they make more games because people give reviews um, I'm certainly gonna go and give a review um, I'm going to give it six out of five stars because it was awesome I that definitely lived up to my heart I've been looking forward to this all day and that definitely definitely lived up to the hype definitely I have so many questions in my head I have so many questions now I can go look at the spoilers in the channel that I've been like purposefully not looking at all day I can go look at the spoilers and I can make my own spoilers and go ah so many questions oh I love games that make me think I love games that make me have questions and maybe want to replay them so yes this is awesome um but for now I've been Joe, otherwise known as Angel SK. Thank you so much for watching. I will be back as usual on Thursday, around about 8 p.m. UK time. I may start earlier. It depends on the day. Uh, I don't know what I'll be streaming as yet, but it should be fun, whatever it is. Um, but for now, good night.